Voting rights. The right to vote uh, uh, and uh, your the right to vote and to have your vote uh, counted is a threshold of American democracy and liberty. And yet, like at the beginning, it was only like uh, rich white men with property that were able to vote. So yeah, we had to work on democracy in this like uh, country. Catching on. Uh, without it, nothing is impossible. With it, anything is anything is. Uh, decades after a generation of civil rights leaders, like a uh, face fire hoses and batons, with were brutally beaten and even died to secure their uh, fundamental right, it remained under insult. It's still under insult right now. I argue that we're still not in the democracy because uh, felons can't vote. Uh, continue on. Since their first days in office, President Biden and Vice President, and Vice President Harris has like, took an action to protect, to protect the sacred right to vote in free, fair, and secure elections, especially for communities of color who have been historically disenfranchised. Uh, within the first 100 days of his presidency, B B President Biden signed an executive order uh, directing a all government effort to promote access to voting. Agencies have taken historical actions to help veterans, college students, Native Americans, and even underserved uh, communities that are registered to vote. Uh, just make it automatic. I mean, it's like, why not make it automatic? Why is it we still have the process that we just have to decide to register to vote to vote? Why just make it automatic once you're 18 you can vote? And why take that, still take that extra process? If it's so fundamental as to, like, a, if we're trying democracy, why still leave it up to, like, the person to decide to do that? Uh, I guess I understand things as well, too. Continue on. Because laws are uh, only as effective as their enforcement, the Department of Justice has more than double its uh, staff dedicated to enforcing like federal and voting rights, and it's, and because the American people the, they deserve or do have like faith in their elections, President Biden has signed the Electoral Ele Electoral Count Reform Act to preserve like the will of the people and to protect them against the type of attempt to overturn our elections that led to like January 6th elections. We nice that like that we have fixed it, it well. So, in some ways, I don't mind parts of the voting system as it is, too, or how decentralized it is. But yet, that's like the voting system is also reliant on volunteers, too. Um, I think that's the nature of how, like, we only do this every, like, uh, two years, every year, or every so often, too. So, if you happen to look at people dedicated, so having, like, people on coal or on the uh, payroll dedicated to only doing something like that, but maintaining elections, there's not going to be, um, they're going to have, like, plenty of non work throughout the most of the year, too. So, it's, it, it's like, interesting kind of like um decentralized patchwork sort of thing too that's like reliant on volunteers i think that like if like like i have to do the uh, people have to do jury duty is that sort of thing too that there should be like a way for you to be able to pay to do that so if you would volunteer to do um voting sort of thing too and for things for elections to ensure elections like go through i think you be should be able to pay to do that or like take time off work from your regular job to be able to do that too so relying on like volunteers and retirees but well, i don't know i don't know that maybe um maybe it's fine as it is uh maybe they have have a problem finding volunteers as it is um and that's where one of the things like I don't have too much of a problem with like how decentralized it is because it, it does prevent from like the entire system to like uh, be hacked and like I take in over or be and that sort of thing too. Yeah, but people can like tell take advantage of certain like boxes that uh inspiration or like intention in order to like stop things as well too. Like for, uh, how George W H George W Bush like got elected as like a president was like the Supreme Court chose for us. But also, in order for, like, a case to be brought in front of, like, the Supreme Court, they there was, like, a stop-the-count effort, uh, a physical attack against, like, a voting uh, polling uh, station called in the uh, Brooks Brothers riots, led by Roger Stone. So there you go. I'll continue on. Uh, Trump has a dark history and different view. With his long history of supporting rollbacks of, to voting rights, he has like spent years undermining the election process and like uh, confidence in elections, uh, and continue to spread breaking lies about the election he lost. And there's also like a lot of thumbkins across many things from people like uh, the illegitimate like uh, governor of like uh, Georgia, Brian Kemp. Uh, now he just like stole the election in uh, the gubernatorial election in Georgia in 2018. 
because he just like disenfranchised and just removed a lot of voters off the the ballots and off the roll um that he knew that we weren't going to vote for him because they were in Atlanta and they were black yeah, kidding on. Trump analysts in state legislations across the country has enacted and continue to like introduce laws that make it harder to like vote and undermine the will of the people. Uh, Trump supported like Georgia voter suspension laws, which makes it illegal to hand out water to voters waiting in line. If he returns to the White House, he will seek to eliminate early voting and mail-in ballots and like make it harder for Americans to access the rights to vote. So, okay, so why is it the right to vote? Why not automatically register them once they're 18, which is one thing, and just make it universal like all across the country, everywhere, that like you just get a mail-in ballot and you can like send off the mail in order to vote. Uh, continue on. A uh, key to the right to like vote is ensuring that the voters uh, pick their like elected officials, not the other way around. President, well. Elect officials can like pick their votes in, in any way with like how you can gerrymander um, districts, congressional districts, and both parties do that too. The Democrats also do it. Um, continue on. President Biden has like spoken out against extreme gerrymandering and harmful court decisions that perpetuate it. Again, Democrats have also done gerrymandering, by the way, and he has like, constantly uh, advocated for legislation that would end and create uh, fair congressional maps. Meanwhile, Trump uh, opposes efforts to draw fairer maps. Uh, Democrats have like drawn on fair maps for themselves as well too. And Congress must be restored to protections of the like, Voting Rights Act and take additional steps to like ensure access to the ballot box. Democrats will pass, and Biden, President Biden, will sign the John R. Lewis uh, Voting Rights Advancement Act and Freedom to Vote Act to fully secure the right to vote in every state, ensuring fair congressional maps for every American and modernize and secure our elections and curtail the uh, cor corrupting influence of money in politics. Ha! Ha! I'll believe that because, like, as so long as the Democrats continue to, to give, like, lobbying money or receive money from, like, the oil industry, the fossil fuel industry, or other industries as well, too, they're they're not above accepting money in uh, for, like, uh, politicians. Because we have legal bribery in the United States and America. It is just called campaign finances or it is just called lobbying. So they're uh, – and also they are – they have not – uh, and like Nancy Pelosi, even Nancy Pelosi said, no, 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 it's uh, fine for like um, Democrats or any politician of like uh, Congress people or Senate to be able to like work on to own stocks in like industries that are affected by their committee like uh, work. So we'll do. If you're on defense industry uh, committee in the Senate or in the House or something like that, and you have stocks in like a uh, defense industry like um, companies like uh, Lockheed Martin or like. General Dynamics or Boeing or something like that. It you, you know you don't have to disclose that. You don't have to like this. It, you don't have to like re sell off your stocks. You can still do that. You can like tell communicate to your that your family, your loved ones, your like uh, white children as well too. Um, the and like and right yeah and there was a bill that was just put on hold by the Democrats in the House that like. Or not to leave a committee by the Democrats as well too. That could have made it to that you had to like um, disclose stocks you own if for if you're on doing committee work. Um, so even the Democrats are n not above like a, a corruption as well too, and willing to just like no they have like money in politics as well too. They're, that's how they get their do their campaigns. That's how they do their campaigns. I believe that they will like stop the corrupting influence of money in politics, and once they stop taking like money from corporations. <laughs>